G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So the strut's finally arrived for the ute, for the bonnet. So obviously today's video, we're gonna be chucking these in. Let's get into it. Yeah, I've always been a little crazy. Yeah, I've always been a little strange. But I'm just doing me and living life, baby. Uh, so no need to explain. I've always been a little crazy. It stopped me from going in. And all the small talk, yo, it don't phase me Making memories, it's time to turn the page Alright, so like I said in the previous video that I've done on the ute I ordered some struts, they finally showed up I was hoping they showed up the same time as the cup holder that I put in But that's alright So they showed up this week So we're going to chuck them in So I'm thinking the plan of attack I'm going to go through so I'll show you this anyway But yeah, there you go Just a strut if you haven't seen one before, that's what they look like. So two of them. So we got two of them. And then these here. These are the brackets that will mount up on the um, inside the bonnet there. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna chuck these on, just that way I'm not undoing the whole fucking bonnet because I am doing this by myself. Um, so surely it can't be too hard, so I'm going to go through, chuck these on first, um, run you through doing that. Look, I'm going to be be honest with you, I'm just sort of bloody doing this as I go along. There's no instructions with it, but I've got a picture that came off the website, so it didn't come with instructions, which is a bit disappointing, but um, pretty straightforward anyway. So anyway, I'm going to go through, take you through doing this, and then we'll uh, see how we go from there. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be taking out is these two, there's two bolts here. So I've already gone through and cracked them a bit because they are a bit tight. So I'm going to go through, take them out. Once you crack them, they'll come out easy enough. There's just two there. And then there's a third, um, third bolt just down inside here. I'll show you when I get to that one. But yeah, there's another one in here for the little um, knob thing that goes on the, for the, strut so i'll take these out and i'll show you all right so i've got the bracket on there now i recommend if you're going to do this grab a little bit of rubber or something and just put it up under there so you're not uh, rubbing on your bonnet so now i recommend with this um if you're going to do this don't do it by yourself like you can i've done it but uh it's just it's not so much hard it's just awkward trying to um because obviously once you take the bolts out you got to try and hold the bonnet um, but got it done, got it back in there. It came with um, like new bolts for it. Yeah, just normal bolts. So um, I could have put them back in there, in there, but I just put the original, uh, you know, the original ones back in there just because exact same size. Um, I thought, oh well, better off putting the originals back in there. So this is what I was talking about. Just one of these little knobby things. There's a little bolt just down in here. You just take that out, and then that just goes in this way. It's just down there. So I'm gonna take that out and chuck this in. All right, so I got all that side in. I'll show you what I mean about that little bolt. Just there, a little knob in there. So that's gonna, that's what your, um, you know, see, there you go. That's what your strut's gonna attach to. All right, so I've got this side done now. Um, I'm not going to put the strut on yet, just because I've still got to do the other side and it's got to be lifted up a bit when I put it on. I'm not going to run through the other side with you, so i just done all this. Um, got that on there. So I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I know I didn't show you too much about doing it, but it's hard trying to talk to this and then do that at the same time, just trying to hold shit in place. So, um, right, repeat the other side and then we'll chuck the struts on. I think this side is going to be quite as awkward as the other side because it's resting on that um, your thing here. Um, so you know what gives me confidence about that? Not much, but better than nothing, I suppose. So right, we're going to chuck this on. I knew I said I wasn't going to go through this side with you, but I thought 
I'll just give you a bit of an idea of what's what's actually happening. This is fucking sketchy, but anyway. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing here, but anyway. Well, fuck. What I'm gonna do, just rest. Faith. Fuck, mate. Alright. One. Alright, so I suppose I'm gonna have to fucking find all them now. I'll get back to you. Alright, so, <clears throat> well, I found everything. Got it back on there. Every time I do something, something seems to go wrong. But, um, after a bit of sweating and a few choice words, I found everything. And so, yeah, just gonna stick, stick rubber in there now. A bit of rubber in there. Like that. I'm just gonna go through, tighten these up. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead, put that other little bit in, and then we'll get to putting the struts on. Alright, so I've got all that in now. Time to see how well these struts go. So, what I'm going to have to do, make sure they're lined up. Something like that. Right, let's try this, shall we? We'll put that on there first. Alright, so on there. Now, this is going to be interesting. Alright, so I got one on. Got that back in. We'll go to the other side. Alright, second side. Now, what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to take that one down. Excuse me. So, I can tell already it's a hell of a lot lighter. The left arm is not the strong arm. Like that. Like that. Beautiful. Whew. That is good. Right. All right, so I've retested this out just to make sure everything works right. So what I'm gonna do, lift the bonnet, see how we go. Fucking hell, you couldn't ask much better than that. That's good. The only thing I found is that sort of like when you move the bonnet, it's sort of like, it's not like nothing major, one strut must just be a little bit stronger than the other. But um, yeah, when you lift it up, the bonnet moves a little bit, but she's sturdy, she locks down fine. Bloody lovely. So, you know, they work. That's the main thing. You know, and then when in doubt, you can still use that if I need to. But just for opening up here or there, it's uh, bloody good. So it'd be interesting to see how they last over, I don't know, even see how they go in a few months, see how they're going. Um, when I brought these, I was looking at two different types. There was uh, two different brands, sorry. So there's these ones that I brought off um, 70 series store, the same place I brought the cup holder from. Or I was looking at Grunt. Grunt, they make um, bonnet struts as well. I've, I've used Grunt before. Uh, when I had the Ranger, I, had, I brought a tailgate strut and that worked great up until, up until I got rid of the uh, Ranger. So anyway, I'm happy with that. Got that all installed now. And then uh, what else have I got coming? Oh, I ordered a new uh, new grill for the front here. Uh, just get away with that shiny chrome looking one. So I've got a black black grill coming. Uh, so hopefully that should be here next week, something like that. And I'll do a video on that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. Uh, press the little bell button next to it as well so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Share the channel around. Um, yeah, start getting those numbers up. Like I said, 
I do a lot on TikTok, so wild underscore bushman01. Go check over there. Um, I do a, do a fair bit on there. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. See you next time.